Hello everyone, and it's nearly the end of October 2021, and I just had a request uh, about a week ago to review the Ancestry DNA. They did it once again, and I appreciate them always constantly updating their uh, algorithm on the Ancestry DNA site. So from here, I'm going to sign in. So I'm into my Ancestry.com uh, DNA site here and I'm going to go over to the results and as I said back in September they again revamped the algorithm from which they determine your DNA uh, estimates and here is another example of, of how it has changed right here on the screen it says we've added even more data to our reference panel which makes it easier for us to tell nearby regions apart this means that you may see changes in your results and a more precise estimate okay so a lot of people have increased uh, their Scotland results in a big way and me being one of them uh, here we go on to the next note here improvements we've also been able to add eight new regions to this update including uh, several places here Arabian Peninsula Egypt uh, Bengal Aegean Islands uh, and there are three new regions in the Americas indigenous Americas uh, Panama and Costa Rica so uh, Ecuador as well and indigenous Americas Chile so uh, this in update also includes new Jewish communities in Europe and lastly here from ancestry ancestry DNA is more than ethnicity after viewing your results check out story scout communities and matches to discover more about your family and past remember to download your ethnicity 2020 results so that you can compare, compare to future ethnicity changes. So, pretty cool. Let's click on this. And here's my ethnicity breakdown. As you can see on the right-hand side here, Scotland has jumped up huge. It's now 17%. Now, when I hear Scotland, I think, well, I, I don't know of any Scottish ancestors personally myself and all the research that I've done but it's not just Scotland that they're talking about and if you look down here on the right hand side the lower right hand side of the screen about this region which encompasses Scotland they're calling it uh, with its center in the northern third of the island of Great Britain but stretching down to Brittany and France our Scotland ethnicity region is known for its geographical beauty, medieval architecture, and folklore. Okay, so when they're talking Scotland, they're talking all of this area. Um, and still, like I was saying, I don't know personally many Scottish relatives of mine. So here it says, surprised by your Scotland result? Yeah, I'm, I'm very surprised by it. So it says, uh, the ethnicity regions in your results are assigned to you because your DNA looks most similar to DNA of people with families who've lived in those regions for generations. Many people with Scotland in their results are from Scotland or have ancestors who live there. But that's not the case for everyone, and it might not be for you. This is because borders in genetic geography don't always match modern national borders. As people moved from place to place over time, they often crossed borders we see on the map today. And as they did, they took their DNA with them. So... 
people years ago may have been from Scotland, but they crossed the borders into different lands, Northern Ireland, England, the north of England. But you're still showing up with results similar to theirs. So that's an explanation of, of how this Scotland is now growing in a lot of people's updated ethnicity uh, breakdowns here. And I don't know. I, I'm not as shocked now as I was a couple years ago when it was updated when the Scottish um, readings seemed to be going up, up, and up. And the breakdown that I have, 76% is Ireland. And that keeps getting better because more people are getting tested in Ireland. So they are able to tell you precisely where in Ireland most of your ancestors came from and may still be there, your relatives of common, you know, every day. Here's Ulster, which is in Northern Ireland. Fermanagh, same thing, Northern Ireland. So my Scottish jumped up to 17%. Swedish and Denmark stayed fairly typical, as well as this number, 76%. My English and Northwestern Europe is at 3%. Now, I can trace some relatives from England. Um, and I would assume that that should be higher, but for now, I'm going to have to go with what I see on the screen from Ancestry, and they keep improving this every year. Um, and to their credit, they don't look for more money from you. They could say, hey, you know, we've revamped our results. Um, how about a 9.95 fee, $9.95 fee, or wherever you're from, another 10, 10 pounds or euros uh, to unlock your latest uh, ethnicity background. No, they give this to you for free. So I'm still very much an Ancestry fan, and my results are still very much trusted by me um, and as time goes on I'm sure these numbers may be more fine-tuned the more people that get tested the more people that they can compare the database to to your own ancestry results so uh, the September 2021 uh, ancestry remix so to speak of you know where you're from it keeps getting fine-tuned so I can't argue against that even though I'm not a big fan of my Scottish um, number going up so high it's typically because I don't have anybody I can reference back immediately in even the 1800s from Scotland in my family tree, which I have fairly much done through the 1800s. I'm pretty sure I have it right uh, from the middle to even, you know, go back to 1800 itself. Uh, and after that is where, you know, it starts to get a little dodgy, like in the 1700s. Uh, I do have some results but it's not uh, on my family tray I'm talking about. Um, but it's not as if everything is nailed down through those years. So, I mean, for all I know, this may go back several hundred years, this Scottish uh, result into, you know, the 1600s per se, possibly. Um, so every day is a new day, 
and check out your DNA results on Ancestry. Keep going back, checking it out. Share it with family. I know I have a cousin that hopefully he watches these videos. I'm not sure, but um, his results more, more or less match mine as well, which I'm happy about. But I don't think his results are public for some reason. You know, I, I don't understand why people would want to hide their results from people that would like to compare them, <laughs> the results. But uh, anyway, I hope you liked this video on Ancestry and DNA. And please check the uh, subscribe button. I'll be back with a lot more talk on Ancestry. Um, going to probably around the holidays do um, more with my uh, DNA over at a different company. I'm going to go a little deeper. So uh, click that subscribe button and you'll get more of these videos. Thanks for listening, everyone. Have a great day wherever you are.